he ain't really sick. This is just, just, just a lie, man. He's, he's trying to make you feel bad for him. <laughs> like, Please let me win. Right. No, he's I'm like, kidding. oh, his, his input probably won't be as well, and then he's gonna just yoink him with two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, like, he, he just yoink. It's the ultimate bait. Make your opponent feel sorry for you, but in reality, you're the one who's winning. <laughs> oh, then you gotta deal with that stigma, like, man, I lost to a sick person. Even not at full capacity, he beat me. I actually have a story to tell you after this match. It's actually hilarious, but let's go back into it. Zan starting off with a great 40% lead against Nico. Ooh, great, uh, oh, great tech chase with the air. That's so scary now that I think about that. You just. Tech you chase with arrows? Yeah. Oh, falling back backer air? into a double backer. There's no go jump right here. Is there going to be any edge guard? Tries to go for the F tilt. Not, not wanting to go off stage. I'll respect that. Alright, neutral air. Goes for up airs. And Yuli goes for another one. Switching the shield art in the nick of time. Oh. That's the clutch Monado art. Uh, yeah, that is literally the power of the Monado. Ooh, up being out of there. Back air. Oh, man. Oh, just barely living. Are we going to go for an edge guard? Oh, oh just I, barely missing. I respect it, too, because he was kind of like hoping to, to see Zaren land on the stage, but he unfortunately just missed it. Mm. Shield art. Forward air. Oh, missing going another deep. forward air. Going deep, but not able to find it. Nico tries to get that back air. That uh, another, the third up B. Eventually it'll kill. I kind of see because he knew Zaren was going to go landing for a neutral air at that point, so I felt like he kind of understood, like, hey, he's going to come back to the stage, either going to grab or a neutral air. Mm. It's a good dash dancing coming on the speed art, kind of putting that to good use. <laughs> Man, just get out of my face. I like it. It's a get off get, get off me option. Mm. Decent percent. And you can't really punish it either. Yeah. He's doing it at a percent where it's actually going to send you back, so you can't actually just get punished or anything for it. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of... That is a lot of things being thrown out. He's touching every, oh, no. Mm, that nice neutral parry. air after... He gets, did he parry, too? Yeah. Yeah. yeah these pairs are looking... Looking mad nice. Pretty crisp. I mean, that's the benefit of pairing, too, right? Like, you get a, a three to four frame advantage over your opponent. Ooh, catch him trying to up B again. Nice. Gets the parry. It gets the boomerang. Nico comes back in with Lutra Air into down tilt. Oh, I love that down tilt. That went underneath the bomb, too. Oh, and Ooh, the hop does into the grab. Another up B. I like it, too, because he knows when Zan gets around him and trying to go for a cross up, he merely just up B's just to make sure Zan is away from him as soon as possible. Mm hmm. Oh, smash art. That was so good throwing the bomb because it was definitely about to explode. And Nico was like scouting it out too. He was standing there waiting for the bomb to explode so we can get a follow up off that. Oh, no kill even with the smash the suspect, art. The suspect DI too. Oh man, that was such more pressure against Zan, but he isn't able to get the side B. Nico still with the second chance of life into jump art and oh, Zan catches that option there. Great play turned, for Zan. turned a really uh, scary option for Zan into a great one for him. Smash R yet again. Oh, I like it. Nico going a little bit low to catch Zan at the low recovery. Yeah, we a B's out of that again. <laughs> I think Zan's finally catching on to these up B's. He's just kinda he's throwing out these phantom hitboxes to bait out the up B and then he's finally getting the punish. That's what happens when you do the same option over and over and eventually your opponent's gonna get the hang of it and mm -hmm. find a find counterplay. Landing. I mean, he at this point he's like kind of taking a little bit slow as you can see. He has to. Yeah. He's at a bit of a deficit, but he's looking to try to get a poke against Zan to start getting some forward airs. Oh, oh no! Just, yeah, that bit of hesitation on the fair end up being his downfall. He definitely could have beat that out. He just threw it out beforehand. And yeah, Nico definitely slowing it down. There was a lot of times where you would have thought he was gonna up B, but he didn't because he's like, okay, if this misses now, I'm I'm gonna lose. Yeah. Oh, both players making the next change into Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, they just played there, honestly. <laughs> we'll switch it over to Blood Link. Oh, both uh, both palette switches actually. I like I like Shulk's neutral color. I also like the white one and the the white colored Shulk. I don't like the hair on the uh, other Shulk that Nico plays. Which one? Oh, the, the black hair. Yeah, it just looks so off-putting. It's 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 so all all the colors that uh, Shulk got in terms of the color palettes are based off the characters from Xenoblade. So that's mm -hmm. Charlotte's color from Xenoblade Chronicles, and then the white one is Fiora's. 
Ah. Uh. Yeah, it, it's kind of an interesting choice now, but I, I kind of see where I like it. I just miss Shulk having his regular hair mm. and not having to change the whole costume. I wish I wish Dark Link had the the, the Majora's mask. Oh. Wait, he died. Okay. Sorry about that tangent there, but I mean, this, what's more important here is now that Liko finally has a lead in terms of stock with Zan, fighting back to get that lead. Oh, nice cross slash, snapping the ledge that does that now, but quick dare from the sky. And then even that right back up. Nico's doing a really good job of getting a, of uh, getting away from these projectiles when he's not getting caught. Once you get caught, he takes so much percent because of just the, the nature of Young Link's arrows. But he's doing a really good job of hopping around and make sure to switch up his timing so he uh, he's not getting hit. <laughs> right, another up B. Thank you. Ooh, fair hitting from below the ledge. Goes to the jump. All right, trying to catch Zan from the bottom. Oh, it doesn't Zan. matter. It's missed anyways. I felt like Zan was also trying to avoid it a little bit because he knew he was at the bottom. Yeah, definitely drifted a little too far away. But going to come up really good for Nico here. I like oh, it, big Zan. combo coming in. I, I feel like Nico was going a little too aggressive there, and he was getting hit by everything from Zan. Shields it, and he gets the up B out of shield immediately. I mean, just a little up B, but that was a buster up B, so that did a lot of lot of percent. Yeah, that's what Nico wants to do, the extra credit homer. Speed, all right, Zan moving in with oh, these so arrows. Still. That's one of the things Nico, oh, and he switches into Sheila because he knows he was going to come out with hot fire. Oh, up here just barely missing. If he went for the fair, that might have actually taken it. Mm -hmm. Yep, quick uh, boomerang fair. The classic. So bring it back to a one stock. This, not too much of a percent. Once Young Link can get a bit of a start going on, he can even this up and take this back really, really easily. All right, holding down on the... Uh, Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Gets the, I want to so say he got the drag percent. down forward air. He did. Yeah, he got a little bit of combo extension with that one. That's such a feels bad because you feel like you could do something out of it. A lot of times, just you got to take it. Yeah. All right. There. Nico clutching out the smash art here. Looking to probably get this edge guard. Well, yeah, I like it, too, because he mixed yeah. it up. The first time he stopped himself, wasn't going to go low, came back to the stage, and then Zan thought it was safe to go keep going low, and he forced it out to go for a down air. That empty hop is really important. He went yeah. out there just to threaten the space and then force a panic option because you're there. You already used your jump. You have to do something. And once you go back on the stage, replenish all your resources, it's just, all right, what's he going to do? What, are, what do I need to do? Yeah. All right, well, game three coming out for Nico and Zan. I hope Zan feels better. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of flu season here in SoCon. The rain does not make it any better. That's why we didn't have as many entrants. Yeah, well, yeah, probably the rain. That I mean, was. Se it. Thank you guys still for showing up. But roughly 80 entrants, you know, for mm -hmm. had 70. I don't know. Some of the 78. 78 entrants. Wait, still. is he? Yeah, he died. Yeah. Zared off stage. It didn't catch. When you Zara, yeah, when you Zara off stage and don't hit anything, there's a lot of lag for for a lot of characters. Yeah. I want to say all the tether characters, but I only know of like Young Link and Lucas. Also for um for the Belmonts too. If you actually like go for forward air because it's also a tether, um, if you do not do it at a certain timing, it's only gonna hit the wall and it'll just wall bounce. And just oh, interesting. Misery, yeah, it's the sweet spot's pretty generous, but like you can miss it if you're a little bit too low. Mm -hmm. Even if you like do like the fair up at like the 45 degree angle. Yeah. Oh, okay. At, at certain points, like it's it's a little too low, and it's kind of stage dependent. I think Pokemon Stadium is the one time I've seen it like miss. Yep. Pokemon Stadium really known for the jank. Uh, for those uh, pineapples. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Like, not I don't the think, jank. Yeah, not the jank. Just the pineapple. In, in, in reality, like it's I feel like it's more of your fault if you actually fall into it. Like you went too low, mm. right? Or you just did not understanding how the stage works. That's just kind of how getting pineapple in Smash Four was on a. Oh, but that pineapple man really yeah. hurt. Like, that like, really that, did hurt. Yeah. I forgot the name. Dreamland. There we go. Yeah. So happy I don't have to worry about that stage but Speaking of uh, speaking of dreams right now, Dream Zan's uh, trying to dream of a comeback because this is this is a hell of a deficit. Yeah, I mean, dreaming of comeback looking like a whole nightmare for Zan too. This is, this is not yeah, that SD did not do him any justice. Not at all. I and mean, he's having a tough time just trying to break into an eagle shield here. But right now, I, I want to see him take it back though. I'm so sorry. I want to yeah. see him take it back. Toss the projectiles like you see right here. Go in with bomb. Try to go for forward. He doesn't need to stay that aggressive. He has the items that he can go for. Ooh, Finally. get out of it. Yeah, that last stock, that last 20%, he was just Zan poking his shield with all these arrows that he knew was safe, and he was waiting for Nico to drop shield. 
But he's like, I know, I don't want to do that. Yeah. If I could just keep this stock, it's fine. I'm just going to keep shielding. Because the only thing that would kill me would be up throw. And even then, it was at a... Oh, that shield. Thin. I got a thin mint. Shout out to Theater Candy. Anyways. <laughs> thin mint is Theater Candy. I forgot about that. Is that, is that the weakest of the Theater Candies? I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's not something someone's like, give me some thin mints. Or, yeah. They're just like, I'll take it. We were talking about whoever gets milk duds, but oh, uh, another whoever gets the grab from the bottom of the stage. Actually, you know, milk milk duds are milk duds are right. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're they're, they're really hit or miss because definitely you eat them, you could feel the cavities forming. <laughs> yeah, dude, like that's that true. Dope, get, bro, get, that chocolate sits there. It's like no, we're not. Yeah, it gets sucked through your th teeth pretty badly. Um, you, you you brush vigorously, or it's not coming out. Yeah. What? I said milk duds. Anyways, I did not. that was two scenarios where Zan was.